Let's give you a live picture out on the roads this morning, and it is really slippery out there, Dave Aguilera. This is a picture from uh, I-25 right around the area of Park Meadows and County mm -hmm. Line. And Dave, it's just, as you said, it's just getting worse. Yeah, and if you look at the roadways, there's not a ton of snow on the roads, but what's happening now is we get cold. It's 26 degrees right now. Everything's just icing over right at the head of rush hour here. So you might just be sailing along thinking, oh, this is no problem. And then you hit that patch of ice and then you're fishtailing or doing something. So slow down big time. It's coming down in the city as well. This is our downtown camera. And with 30 mile per hour winds from time to time, visibility is limited a little bit this morning. There's a look at the mouse trap. Same deal there. The snow starting to stick to the highways at 26 degrees there. I-70 and uh, I-25. Some of our weather watchers reporting uh, some snow already east of Conifer. Bambi Moss over a half inch of snow there and uh, almost an inch and a half down in Lone Tree from Ron Rannick reporting there. Here's the snow coming through and you can see it's just right on the front range here pushing against the front range and the Palmer Divide. We've got some, some winds about 30 miles per hour just coming right in out of the northeast. That's an upslope for us. Anytime we see that we get uh, this convective uh, nature as the as the storm just kind of rises up uh, as it hits the higher elevations, so that's what's happening here. Snow south of Fort Collins, all the way down to Monument Hill here. And uh, as the uh, computer color codes this, the darker blues—that's where the heavy, heavy bursts of snow are going through. We had a couple around Denver, and one just moving uh, down south there in Littleton, over into the Ken Carroll area. Now I'm expecting in town about one to two inches of snow. You get into Cass Rock, Monument Hill, closer to one to three, uh, and that also includes Conifer, Evergreen, and some of those areas as well. By the end of the morning, it should die down though uh, as we go through. And there's that northeasterly wind that we're talking about there. Temperature wise, we're in the 20s. We're below freezing over almost all of eastern Colorado, especially cold in the mountains. Gunnison right now at 11 below zero. And this is all connected to that big cold wave that's coming out of Canada affecting the Midwest. Chicago right now is 24, but on Wednesday, they're expecting their high to only be about 12 below zero. That's going to be about it. And we're right on the fringes of that with that cold air sloshing back against the Rockies. By the time we get to late afternoon, I think we'll see some clearing and we may finish the day with a little bit of sunshine. Uh, so the afternoon commute might be a little easier to take, a lot easier to take than this morning. Most of our temperatures today in the 30s and 20s across the state. So the quick forecast uh, going on for today, 32 degrees, 37 on Tuesday, 44 on Wednesday. And Andrea, come on Thursday and Friday. Look at those 50s that we have for you. All right.